Welcome to this part two of this tutorial to make Echo, the Windwalker, into something like Lara Croft or Uncharted by having a weapon state. Uh, let's just jump into what we're going to be creating and see what we're going to do today. Before we continue with the video, if you like what I'm doing here on this channel, please consider subscribing. It helps the channel a lot. Anyway, let's get back to the video. So here we are inside of Windwalker Echo, the anim project available from Slay. Uh, this anim uh, project has the ability to run around with Echo in a very smooth fashion like this. Uh, you can disregard the little flying uh, companion there. It's from a different tutorial that is in this same project. But what we have done in this project is we have added on her back. We have a weapon on her back currently, and we have the ability to equip this weapon and we have the ability to unequip this weapon. Also, if we have the weapon equipped, we can reload. Uh, so we need to actually have it equipped to allow the reload animation to play. And that is what that looks like. And in addition to that, we also have the ability to aim when we have the weapon equipped. So that's what that looks like. And we can also do these things while running. So we can unequip the weapon, equip the weapon, reload the weapon, and also aim while running around. So yeah, that's what we will be creating in this series. Continuing on from last episode, where we created the, the weapon for our skeleton, we're now going to be adding the weapon to our actual character, because the skeleton only works as a visual representation, it's not what it looks like in the game. So going to our begin play of our character, this is the begin play, it might be a little bit bigger than yours, because I have made a tutorial for the companion here in between. Uh, what we can do is just spawn actor from class. Make sure to put in the weapon blueprint that we created in the last episode. Uh, we'll expand the transform, split it, then we'll promote this to a variable so that we have it available later. We'll call it equipped weapon. After that, we can say, drag off the equip weapon and say attach actor. So we'll attach the actor to component. The component we're going to be attaching it to is going to be the mesh. And then we're going to be needing a socket name, so we can go back to our uh, skeleton. In our skeleton, we have made a spine socket, we'll take that name. And we'll go back to our character and we say that name as our socket name. We'll change the location rules to snap to target, rotation rules, snap to target, and scale rules, snap to target. Compile and save. And now if we start the game, we should have the weapon on our back like so. So when we're running around, we can see that we have it. So that's a good first step. Now let's actually try and equip this weapon. So we want to do this on our inputs for equipping and arming. And what we want to do is we want to take our equip weapon and say uh, we want to equip it. However, uh, we, we want to have this happen in a sort of transitional way because it's halfway into the actual animation. So let's give ourselves a little space here maybe. Maybe we can do something like so, something like so. Uh, and this information that we want to trigger, we can't trigger from anywhere. So we want to have it actually be triggered from our animation. So to do that, we're going to make it a little bit easier for us and make it cleaner. So we'll make a blueprint interface. We call it BPI underscore armed. Inside of it, we'll create two functions. We'll create one which we call arm and we'll create one that we call disarm. That's not how you spell that, disarm. In addition to that, we also want to have another helper function here, which we can call armed question mark. And we want that one to return a Boolean and say armed as the name. And that should be fine. Uh, going back to our character, we want to be able to now uh, have these functions here. So we add in class settings our interface, so bpi underscore armed, 
We'll make sure to go to interfaces and we'll implement the event for disarm, implement the event for armed, and also the function we can wait with a little bit. But now we have these events and we'll drag them up here where we have everything else. So, so our event arm, we want to actually attach the active component again, but we want to do it in the hand. So we'll type attach actor to component just like before. And we'll bring in our mesh again. And the socket name this time is going to be the other one. So we can type in hand. So we get the hand R socket. Copy that name. Use that over here. Like so, and we want to snap it again. Now, let's give ourselves a little bit more space again. We want to do something very similar for the disarm, so we can basically copy paste this. And we want to have instead of the hand R socket, we're gonna have the same socket that we start off with here, which is the spine one. So now whenever this is called, we are essentially going to be repositioning this weapon. So to have this communication happen, we're going to need to input some things into our animation. And what we want to do is we want to have a notify state. So we'll go to blueprint class, type in notify and state. Then we can get the anime notify state. We can call this BP underscore um, equip weapon we'll go into it and we want to override the function on begin notify and what we want to do is we want to have the owner of the mesh which will be the pawn we want to check if it is armed Um, actually, let's do this in a different way. Let's do it like so. Let's add a variable here and call that arm. And we'll click it here so it's exposed. And we'll check if that one is true instead. So we'll add a branch and hook it up here. Like so. So now this will be checking for us if uh, we are armed or not and we need to actually plug it in properly like so so if it is uh, armed then we want to disarm it so we have the owner here so we want to send the disarm message to the character so it goes from armed to disarmed and we want to arm it with the message if it is the opposite and then once it has done that we're happy with this and we can say that uh, everything has gone fine here and we're going to return uh, how we're going to be making use of this notify now is by going to our uh, animation, which we have called Equip Pistol Standing. And we find a place where it seems like we're not showing uh, a asset anymore here for some reason. So I'm going to add it back again. Whoops, not that. Uh, preview. Or is it just because... Okay, that's not what I wanted. Let's remove all attached. And let's add 11x again. So now we can see it at least. Uh, so we can go back to our animation now. Okay, it's still not showing for some reason. Maybe it's a little bit bugged. Let's open up the montage again. So now it has it equipped. Fine. We'll go behind the back and we'll see... Okay, now we can't see the one on the back for some reason. Uh, not sure what has happened right now, but this is fine. We'll fix this. Spine. Spine. 
spine doesn't have an asset and preview 11x like so save and close both that and the animation down just to make sure and then we'll open it up hopefully we have to now yeah this will make it a little bit easier because we need to determine now when we want to do the handoff so when we get to the animation where it's over somewhere over here they seem to be aligning fairly well then we can add our notify so we add our notify state the equip weapon and we can just drag it out a little bit and what we want to say here is since this is the equip animation we want to arm and then we can go and find the unequip one and for the same reason we go to the same place and we say there and we go and add our notify and we say this notify should be false for arm so that should be handling that now so now we just need to actually have these animations activating so we'll go back to our character and our events to um, start playing these things so we have our events over here for equip arm and unequip so let's start off with the the arm one to begin with uh, for this we are going to be introducing a state because we want to make sure that we are uh, at the proper state when we try to do this so we'll go back to our arming folder we'll create a blueprint enumerator call this e underscore echo state and this is so that we can organize our different states in this particular project we won't get a lot of use out of it but it's good to have so you can have a little bit more control over how how your character is reacting instead of having a bunch of different booleans uh, so we're gonna have unarmed and armed and then we save that and then we go back to our character and we're gonna say that we have a current state of the type e echo state like so and now that we are trying to arm ourselves we're going to get this state we're going to compare it and we're going to say we need to be unarmed to be able to arm so we'll add a branch now that we have established that we are unarmed we will allow the the actual arming we will now try to play an animation so we'll drag out our mesh we'll say uh, play montage which gives us all of these outputs that allows us to react in different situations and what we can say here is we want to play the montage of uh, equip and when it is completed we want to set a new state so we can create a macro we can call this um, actually we're probably not going to need that for now. Let's see if we keep it. Uh, we'll see. Uh, let's go back to our actual event graph here. How oh, we are still here. Uh, let's say our current state is from this going to be set on completed to be armed. If we also interrupt it, we can put it to armed. Uh, this allows you a little bit to do animation cancelling, but that seems okay to me. Uh, we can do the same thing over here. We need to make sure that we are armed to do this. And if we are armed, we will allow to play the unequip and unarm ourselves or set us to the state, state of being unarmed. Like so. And now let's see here did we yeah we're setting the disarm and arm or calling them over here so our echo character should be getting uh, attaching and detaching them if we get the messages so let's try this out and see what it looks like so key one should be trying to arm us if we are unarmed so 
so nothing happens but something happens on key 2 let's see if I set up something wrong uh, project settings input one key two key equip arm disarm maybe I did something wrong only the two key seems to be playing and it seems to be doing the opposite so I have done something wrong here uh, let's see hmm so since this is failing we're checking against unarmed okay our default value is armed that's incorrect since we're starting unarmed so let's see if that helps so we try to arm ourselves we play the animation but we don't actually pick it up but we do it on the unarmed one so let's go check what that is causing being caused by Uh, we're playing the montage and we're setting armed. If we go check our notify state, we play that one. If we say arm, we go. Okay, these ones are reversed. If we say armed from the animation, that means that we are supposed to arm. So it's supposed to go like so. That must be at least part of the reason let's try this again so we try to arm she picks it up try to disarm okay so that seems to work so now we have that in place as well and if we're running around we can also pick up our weapon or put it back if we want to so i think that's enough for this episode i'll see you in the next one hopefully you found this video helpful if you liked the video leave a like if you did not like it leave a dislike leave any suggestions or comments you have down below subscribe and share this video if you want to see more like it in the future that is all for now keep on learning take care